I have reviewed quite a few Shimbo products and I really like what they make. Build quality is always really good and it just works. But just as important is that they're making technology that is expensive, like wireless video transmission, affordable. And their new TP Mini is the prime example of that. Wireless 1080p video transmission for only $89. Let's talk about it. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian and welcome to the channel where I talk about Lumix cameras and all things video and audio related. Shimball sent this to me for review, but I'm not getting paid for this video and I can say whatever I want. So I will go over the build quality briefly because as usual, build quality is really good. They're made out of aluminium, weigh in at 113 grams each, and there are no cooling fans, which is great. They've got some battery level indicator LEDs, a power switch, a USB-C port, two HDMI ports, and two small buttons. One button is for showing the battery level, and the other one is a pairing button in case they won't pair automatically for some reason. The system has two power options. They can either be powered with an MPF style battery or via USB-C. And that doesn't have to be USB-C power delivery. Just regular USB power at five volts uh, will do. Battery life on an MPF 550 is amazing. I got at least eight hours of continuous use before I switched it off myself. And you can also hot swap USB and battery, which is great. The TP Mini supports a wireless video signal up to uh, 1080p 60 frames per second, and the transmitter can accept a 4K signal, which it will scale down to 1080p. Now I'm usually in 4K 25 frames per second on my camera, and I found a small issue with the TP Mini there. When I'm in 25p on my camera, and I have the receiver connected to a monitor that tells me what the input is, like this Shimbo Memory 1, for some reason the receiver puts out 24 frames per second instead of the 25 I'm sending it. The funny thing is though that when I put my camera in 50 frames a second, it's 50 on the receiver's end as well. A bit strange, not a big issue, unless you're planning to record the signal from the receiver, obviously. The range of around 180 meters is quite impressive, given that they're very small and have built-in antennas. However, this is only applicable if there's clear line of sight between the transmitter and receiver. Seven, eight, nine, eighty. So, switch Wi Fi channel due to signal performance. Okay, so, but it's well over 180 meters, it's closer to 200. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm also testing two different microphones. The first one is the Full M X3 which is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless mic. And the other one is the Full Aim D31, which is a UHF uh, wireless system, which I'm, well, so far quite impressed with. But anyway, the Shimbal seems to do really well, the Shimbal wireless video transmission system. And it's super light. Okay, now it's, Oh, it's regained connection. There we are again. All right, so as I'm walking back, it also automatically uh, re-establishes the connection, which is great. Oh, it stopped recording. And, you know, who needs this kind of distance with a wireless video transmission system? I think 180 meters is more than enough in the majority of situations where you need wireless video transmission. I want to quickly show you something else, namely the way I'm powering this whole thing. Let me grab focus. So I'm powering this with a Andy Cine 
uh, NPF yeah, battery plate basically with uh, USB-C power delivery in out port and a DC 12 volt out barrel connection and a DC barrel connection 8.4 volts out. Um, it's a very simple little thing. I'll make a video about compact power options. And the other one is this funny thing. It's the uh, port keys. Yeah, they call it like the reversible NPF adapter. It isn't a battery. It doesn't take a battery, uh, but it does take um, USB-C power delivery or a DC uh, locking barrel connector and you can reverse this mount. I'll show you in a separate video. Anyway, I think the Shimbal does a great job. As long as it's in line of sight, distance isn't really an issue. The system operates in the 5 GHz band and has intelligent frequency hopping, which in practice means a very stable connection. And they pair automatically when you switch them on. Both the transmitter and receiver have HDMI loop out, which basically makes the receiver double as an HDMI splitter, so you can connect two monitors to it. I really don't have anything negative to say about it. Well, perhaps the fact that it can't receive the feed on a phone or a tablet, like you can with the Shimbal Z0600MS and the Z0100. But those systems are in whole different price range. I think the TP Mini is just perfect as a budget solution for a director's monitor, especially if you already have a monitor like Anatomous Ninja 5 or Shimbal Memory 1. But if not, or you need something bigger, you can use whatever monitor or screen you want, as long as it has an HDMI input. I think for $89, the TP Mini is a no-brainer if you need a wireless video transmission system on a budget. It just works, it's simple to set up, hassle-free, no menus, no apps, just switch them on and you're good to go. Just keep in mind that it has 70 milliseconds of latency, plus the HDMI latency that many cameras have in general, so it's not the system to use for remote focus pulling you'd always be playing catch up. Not sure about the looks of it, looks kind of funky, but do I really want that on my rig? I'm not sure. And then I found out that it's a sticker that you can just pull off. So what do you think? Does this TP Mini bring a wireless system within reach for you? Let me know in the comments. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and maybe hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.